Well, I, I grew up in a household that had probably more books than um, most of the buildings in our city except one or two libraries because Ghana in the 1950s um, reading, I mean obviously people had been reading for a century, they, liter literacy came to that part of the world in the 19th century, but th th um, it just wasn't the case that there were a lot of middle class people, there weren't a lot of people who could afford books. So I grew up with more books, as I say, than, than certainly anybody in the neighborhood. And in fact, our book collection, especially the children's book collection, was a kind of neighborhood library. Other kids from the, from the neighborhood would come, and my mother would let them read in the house. Uh, and they would sit on the stairs or on the veranda, and, and they would read. And, and, and of course, she read to us, uh, and she was herself a children's book writer. She wrote children's books. Some of them are still in print. And eventually she wrote adult novels too. But, but what really started her off, uh, she was an artist actually, my mother. She was a painter. She went to, to um, art school. She studied seriously both in, in Britain and in Switzerland and in Italy after the Second World War. But when she, I once asked her why she stopped painting and she said, because you were born, which made me feel terrible. <laughs> but, but she said that writing was something she could do while raising a family and she didn't think she could paint while raising a family. So she. And she, she was obviously someone who cared a good deal about fiction and, and poetry. Um, I had to go to boarding school when I was eight because my father was imprisoned and, and I, need, I was sick and I needed to be near my, somebody could look after me. So I went to my gr English grandmother and a school near her. And my mother, and, my mother used to send me a poem once a week and I would send her one back. So that was sort of how, I didn't really like writing letters. So she said, okay, let's exchange poems. So I wrote, I wrote poetry from a very young age. It wasn't very good, but it was how I communicated with my mother, who was a rather better poet than I was. Um, and um, so I guess the, the point is, I grew up with a writer mother. My father also told us, um, especially folk, t I mean, my father was a great anecdotalist. He, he, he was a great storyteller. So he would sort of tell us about his day I in a way that um, was somewhat, uh, let's say literary, I mean, <laughs> uh, uh, in other words, on the edge of fiction and non-fiction. Uh, but he also told us uh, canned folk tales. And my mother's first uh, published book was called Tales of an Asante Father. And it was basically a, a retelling of a canned folk tales that my mother had heard him tell us. So, you know, that was, this is all very young, but I mean, uh, it doesn't seem to me terribly surprising <laughs> that we, all, my sisters and I were all brought up to, um, my younger sister writes poetry still, uh, to write, uh, obviously, I mean, not just in the normal sense of uh, literacy, but to express ourselves in these ways.